Okay, we're going to use a completely updated method. A different method than the previous one. We're going to be able to recover our device since it got locked with. A screen lock we forgot, and what we did was reset it. After resetting it, it now has this little padlock that appears here in the upper left corner. We also see the access option. Previously, on some devices, when we reset, our device and access appeared, it was because our phone didn't have a screen lock, we could simply configure it. And it gave us quick access to the home. But now, with these devices and the updates, the access option appears. But these devices are still completely locked. It doesn't give us access in any way. Here we can see that it says, emergency call. We could also previously enter with this code, asterisk, number zero, asterisk, hash, and we could recover it with a tool from the PC. The first thing we're going to do is connect to a Wi-Fi network to guide us through the process. As you can see, it's completely locked because it has a screen lock and also a forgotten Gmail account. Previously, we also clicked skip here. When the device doesn't have a Google account, it will give you this skip option and grant you access. But if it does have a Google account, it won't grant you any access. So, what we're going to do is connect to a network. Okay. Let's click next. Now, we're going to follow all those steps until we get to where it's completely locked and it asks us about the screen lock. For those who don't have a PC, we have several methods listed in the video description and in the first pinned comment. We have different methods. Additional methods for those who want to perform the recovery process. You can see other methods as well. As we mentioned in the video description in the first pinned comment, we've left all these methods so you can try them and find a solution and recover your device. In this video tutorial, we're going to use a PC. We're going to use a method entirely for PCs. For those who don't have a PC, check the video description, and in the first comment, you'll find different methods, and in the description, we also have many methods. We're going to click here where it says, use my Google account. Now that we click, use my Google account, it will ask you for your email address. Some people write it down. If you know your email, you can write it here. Once you've written your email, click next. Then it will ask for your password. Enter that password and then it will give you access to your device. Besides email, it also asks for a phone number. If you don't remember your email but you do remember your phone number, you can still do the same process. Enter the number, click next, and you'll receive a verification code. But we don't need to have this verification code on the locked phone because it won't arrive. It would have to be on an unlocked phone. Having said all that, we re going to explain every step of what you're going to do, giving you all the instructions exactly as we do them, and we'll explain in the video tutorial, as we mentioned, we're going to use a fully updated tool. The process is done on a PC. Those of you who, well, before you download the tool we're going to use in this video, Tutorial, it's always recommended to temporarily disable your antivirus. Why? Because if we don't temporarily disable the antivirus, it will also block the tool. 
We'll explain where you can download the tool, and we'll also explain where the drivers go. We'll explain everything, including how to check if the drivers are installed correctly to help you complete the entire recovery process. Let's move on to the next step. We'll go to our PC, specifically to our antivirus software. We'll select our antivirus and then it will take us to this section. We'll wait for it to load. Once we're here, we'll select this shield. Specifically the virus and threat protection option. Then, we'll scroll down and select the option that says manage settings. You'll see all these options activated. You're going to deactivate the first one. You absolutely must select yes. After you deactivate this first option, we'll go to the browser. We'll open the browser and type in our official website. Our official website appears here as Davicel. This is the website we'll type in. You'll type it exactly as it appears on the screen. After you type it in, scroll down and you'll see this page that appears here, Davicel. Or it might say, Android TV. Don't worry, it's the same. You're going to click on it. Then it will take you to this section where you'll find many more methods. You'll find other completely different methods. You'll also find many updated tools here. You'll go to the last option. Here in the last option you'll find this entry that says Apps Device Cell or Evicel Applications. You'll also be able to select there, then others will appear. A completely different method. Here you'll see what you're going to do. You'll scroll down, and you'll find this method. You'll find the tool here in this entry. This is the tool we'll be using in this video tutorial. Click on the tool. Here you'll find the drivers. You'll also find this. Well, when you unzip this file, this program will ask for a password. The password is written right here. When you click download, the password will also appear. So, with all that, what we're going to do now is run the tool. Right click here. Right click and click here where it says run as administrator. Click run then yes. Now click yes then yes then next then next. And then when it finishes it will create a shortcut. This program will create a shortcut on your PC. Once it creates that shortcut, what we're going to do now is the following. We'll wait, we'll wait, and then we'll click here. To finish, we click on finish, we click on finish again. And now the application will open. This shortcut that appears here was created for us. Now it will open. In some cases, when we click here where it says, log in. Sometimes the antivirus automatically reactivates and blocks the tool. If that happens to you, reactivate it and then disable the antivirus. In this video tutorial, we're going to use the processor. Here we also have Unisoft and Qualcomm in the video description and in the comments. We have these other processors in that description. Here we have the models, here the different brands, but today we're going to use this processor. Here at the bottom, we're going to click here on service, then we're going to click here where it says reset. We have two options, to do it here or here. I always recommend that if it doesn't work, you can do it here. But this is the one you're going to click. It usually works in the latest versions. Now what we're going to do is the following, run the tool. But something I missed, I overlooked something. 
We're going to click here on drivers. Here you're going to select according to your processor. In this video it's MediaTek, but I always recommend installing this driver. This last driver, which says lip USB. We're going to click next. We're going to install it next, next, next. We say yes. We click finish. Here this tool is going to open. What do I want? How do we know that our driver is installed correctly? We're going to click here. It says remove. We click it. Next, the drivers will appear here. The MediaTek driver is installed. If it doesn't appear here, click the first one that says install. When we connect the device, MediaTek will appear. Select it and click here in the center that says install and it will install. We'll leave it like this. We'll leave it here to the side and now we'll do the process. We'll click on FRP again. We'll click here. Now what we're going to do is turn off our device. We turn it off. When it's completely off, we're not going to press any buttons. We're just going to connect it. We connect it. Wait, if the drivers don't appear, they will appear here. Look, they might appear here. Select it and click, install quickly. Now you'll wait, you'll wait, and that's it. You'll see this in green here. Here we can see that it says, reset, FRP reset, which means it was successful. Now what we're going to do is wait for our device to restart. Once it shows us the charging option, we're going to disconnect the device. We'll disconnect it and wait for the charging logo to disappear. We'll wait for the charging logo to disappear and then complete the recovery process. Now we're going to turn it on. We're going to press the power button and wait until our phone starts up. Once our phone has started up correctly, we're going to configure the following settings. We're going to complete the recovery process for our device. That's why it's always recommended to watch the video tutorial step by step until the end. Let's go. I'm going to locate the device correctly. Okay, here our device is starting up. Now we're going to configure it. Let's wait for it to start up. When it starts up, we're going to configure the following settings. We're going to configure all of these settings. And then when we get to the Wi-Fi network, we're going to disable the Wi-Fi network. Tap, skip, tap, skip, tap, skip, again, tap, skip. I always recommend that once we've completely recovered our device, it's always advisable to eliminate any remaining errors on our phone, because there are some errors left, like the ones we'll correct. We LL explain how to correct these errors later. Tap next to skip this quickly. You don't have to, to have no SIM card entered, to not have any SIM card. Now what we're going to do is press start. Now we go to settings. We go to settings here in settings we'll find about phone and then we're going to press set. Well we're going to finish here. We press about phone and we reset it. We press the last reset option. We reset and that would be all for this video tutorial.